Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Friday and I have your word for the day. So you know a lot about me. I have four children, all girls, and I understand that without a son, the name of Donahue stops with me. Our hopes are that our girls will get married to godly men and perhaps will be blessed with grandchildren. But unless Christy and I choose to adopt a boy, we understand our descendants will not take the name Donahue. And I'm content with that. I don't think adopting a, I don't think that adopting a boy so the Donahue name is passed on is a legitimate reason to adopt. Now, around the world today and historically, having a son, especially a firstborn son, has always been a big deal. People experience a certain sense of satisfaction knowing that their line, their family name, will become part of the next generation. Especially if you were living in Egypt during Exodus. During the days of the Exodus of the Israelites from Egypt, God kept warning Pharaoh to release the Israelites from captivity. And Pharaoh kept saying no. Over and over again, regardless of the plagues God sent, Pharaoh refused to bow down to God and let God's people go. In Exodus 11, 1 through 10, we read that Pharaoh agreed to let the Israelite people go free only, only after the lives of all the firstborn sons of the Egyptian people were taken. That meant for the Egyptian people, their name wouldn't continue. And that hit Pharaoh very hard. Now, before you think that that was a heartless and cold uh, act of God, remember this. God knows exactly what it was like to have his own son ransom for the lives of others. Jesus, God's one and only son, sacrificed his life so you and I could be free from the captivity of sin. And as followers of Jesus, the really cool thing is, even though Jesus gave up his life, even though God sacrificed his own son, you and I as followers of Jesus, we carry his name. Jesus lives within us and we carry his name with us for all eternity. You and I, we don't need a son or a daughter to carry out our family lineage. We now belong to God's family and our identity is securely wrapped up in him. Aren't you grateful for the way that God's sacrificial love has changed our lives and given us hope? If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, or leave a comment. God bless.